All right, so this is my 600 Euro 1990 Peugeot 205 spare parts vehicle. So I got this thing just before I went to Norway, like uh, a couple of months ago, one month ago just. And uh, I'm going to be ripping all kinds of stuff out of this thing in order to bank my more well-kept red Peugeot 205. A little bit longer, but uh, well, this thing isn't going to be seeing traffic again anytime soon. Uh, I do kind of want to make sure it doesn't rot to pieces while it's sitting uh, because this is a rather low mileage one, it's just got <laughs> uh, rolled over 120 facing kilometer while it was being driven here, uh, so it's in rather good condition. But uh, this thing's been I'm the third owner. Uh, it's been owned since new by an old lady uh, until like a couple of years ago when a younger man bought it from her and used it as his daily driver. And that, uh, I'm not sure uh, how well either of those people have been taking care of it. Uh, well, when I went to look at it, it had almost no oil in it. I added it like you. Uh, three deciliters, half a litre almost to get it up to that level, which uh, wasn't a good sign, the oil looks uh, kind of old-ish, not super bad. Is that some residue there? That doesn't look like some kind of residue. Yeah, some kind of residue. I'll have to clean this up before I put it back in there. Uh, coolant bottle looks absolutely disgusting, but uh, that seems to be a thing which happens in these. Hey, dated 1990. Uh, the coolant in mine also gets disgusting rather quickly. I changed it yesterday. Uh, but yeah, this thing I'm guessing hasn't seen too much maintenance. I have to break fluid look. That could be a pretty decent indicator. Now that's all black and horrible. Uh, not too bad. Definitely not very new though. It's not leaking out, which is a good thing. That is a good thing. They have replaced this line, which is a common failure point. Original fuel lines are there. How's it look underneath here? I've barely even looked. I mean, we have like these little particles all around. I'm not sure what they're about. This engine runs reasonably well, but uh, one cylinder seems to be a bit wonky. Uh, heat shield and decent nick alternator looks probably original. I'm not sure if it's ever had the cam belt replaced. It has the original jack. That's good. That is good. Uh, but yeah, I want to change the oil, change the coolant today, hopefully. As long as the weather stays on my side. Uh, just to make sure this thing doesn't just rot to pieces. Alright, so let's just uh, start it up and see what it sounds like. Should have some gas. That gearbox is crunchy. That gearbox is crunchy. It does run reasonably clean. A bit jumpy, but it hasn't been on for quite a while. Less blue by mine. mine. <laughs> yeah, the engine is not in bad shape in this thing. Which is good because I'm probably going to have to rebuild my engine at some stage.
All right, we're going to do the coolant first, uh, since uh, I'd rather not get scalded by hot pressurized coolant, uh, since we want the engine to be warm when you do the oil. So I've mixed up some rather decent uh, glycol there. It's about 50% glycol, 50% uh, distilled water, and uh, I've got some of this uh, cooler cooling system cleaning stuff, which I think I might as well use up. Run it through the engine for a little bit. And I'm just going to use the hose to flow water through it while while I'm changing and cleaning stuff because this is pretty grimy pretty grimy indeed so let's just see what horrors lurk within and some of these cars you just have this uh, top uh, air inlet to uh, get air and to get to clear out the uh, heater core and uh, beyond that you've just got the top cap of radiator and little bottom cap down there and that's about it to fill you just you're supposed to unhook this clamp it onto this and that makes it the highest point of the system and there are no real places for any leaks to for any air pockets to gather so it's a really rather uh, simple engine to work with in that regard so let's uh, open her up Oh, well, I had to employ some vice grips to get that to actually open, so let's see what horrors lurk within. Casting the same thing as my other fur show, where the O-ring will just kind of get caught in the thread, making it a royal pain to undo this. Alright, just a question of more brute force. Uh, starting to drip. Oh, that's, that's not looking bad. That's not looking bad at all, actually. This must have had the coolant changed somewhat recently. I'm happy. I have definitely seen much worse coolant than that. Alright, now just run the cleany thing and uh, well, we're getting out rather clear greenish water before this is what's come out, so that's probably all the gaskets in the entire engine right there. Uh, so now I'm just going to flush it out a couple of times and uh, fill it up with fresh coolant and we will be good to go. And we've already had some rain, so here's to hoping it uh, keeps up somewhat clear at least. And here's cleansing rain number one. And cleaning pass number zwei. It's starting to come up out uh, somewhat clean. Well, that's looking an awful lot better than the previous water. I can barely see my hand at all. So I'm thinking one more cleaning pass and it'll be good enough for me. And we are draining for the third, and what I really do believe to be the last time, because this is pretty much just tap water. Looking perfectly crystal clear. No real bubbling from any detergent, no real... No, no real anything. Ah, so with the final water out, all that's left to do is dunk these in. And there we go, isn't that a sight to behold? No air bubbles. But I can get out of there, left, fill to the proper level. We've got heating, we've got cooling, and everything in tip-top shape. So I say now until next week it's just empty with a giant green puddle and a bunch of dead animals around it. But uh, that's an issue for another time. Uh, now, I've just got to deal with the oil situation. And for that, I have created a concoction of various leftover oils I've had sitting around. So this is about one part uh, Mo Mobile One New Life du Zero W40, about one part uh, Shell 5W40, uh, all synthetic from... I don't know, a few years back, uh, I say a few years, 2014 maybe, 
and about one part of my normal uh, mobile one le 5w30 so two thirds mobile one one third shell and i managed to get about just uh, like 3.1 3.2 liters which should be just about enough to fill this engine up to a reasonable level with spec for 3.5 but i've never managed to fit uh, the full 3.5 in them uh, we've got a bit of a waste new filter but i don't trust what's on there since i don't have any service history on this thing and i've got a mayonnaise jar to collect a bit of an oil sample in uh, just in order to get a bit of an idea if there's anything horrible falling apart in this engine if there's like coolant in the oil or metal particles i don't think so because it's it sounds pretty good it sounds bloody well better than my other but show 205 to be brutally honest say for a bit of a sporadic misfire but that again is something which i will save for another time let's get this thing warmed up and get the oil out there we go, all the oil is out, and I got myself a little sample to look at, so let's pour a drop on there and see what we've got. So it is pitch black, so it's not going to be very new. It does look pretty good though, I can't see anything shimmering or sparkling in there. No sign of metal particles. Now oh, there's a little tiny streak running across there, but that's just nothing. Yeah, judging from this, I would say. But this engine is in excellent internal mechanical order. Because when I've had shitty vehicles like my old pickup truck, you could very easily spot the metal particles in there by just moving it about and sloshing it around and there's just nothing on this one just the tiniest tiniest little hint there but it is absolutely insignificant wonderful I've got a good engine alright I've got about two litres of oil into the engine, it's just starting to show up on the dipstick. So let's engage one of my favourite features of this vehicle. Single point fuel injection, disconnect this. Which is not an easy task. Okay, disconnect that. And you have engaged infinite cranking mode. So let's just uh, allow it to pump some of the oil around, fill the filter and keep on filling because two litres is not enough. Decent battery in this. We have the oil pressure light went out instantly. Kind of. A bit worrisome since uh, it is entirely empty. There shouldn't really be any oil in the filter. But uh, let's see what we get in the stick. Or if we're going to run into the uh, TU3 engine issue where you get a clogged up level. But nope, that's fine. On my other Peugeot, I tend to get uh, crap on the oil stick. Uh, like oil residue gets caught in the tube and you get an oil level which is not at all readable. Thankfully we haven't got that at this in the, for the moment. I've actually made a little cloth tool which I can wrap around the dipstick and shove in there and clean the tube out when necessary. Alright, I've put about as much as I intend to put in there and we're well past the halfway mark on the uh, dipstick and there's about half a litre of this stuff remaining uh, which is usually what uh, you get in one of these uh, once everything sinks down it's going to be an absolutely fine level so let's uh, re-engage the fuel injector and see what it sounds like with all fresh fluids Thank you. 
Here we go. I might be imagining, imagining it, but I do think it has a bit less of a rattle to it. But old oil just seems to be rather, rather low viscosity. This is cold by now. That's just sloshing about. So I think we've done this machine a service. Just imagining it. Oh, this is misfiring a bit less now. Because we had a rather distinct pop and crackle every now and again. Could that actually have been the oil? I mean, it does sound rather far fetched. I guess I'll have to leave that up to each and every one to consider. I'm feeling confident parking this thing for another while now until I get time to tear it asunder to get parts for my other car. Uh, I have to be mad to put this much effort into something which isn't even going to be driven for many a year. Anyway, thank you for watching. Cheerio!